Hello guys and welcome back to my sewing channel. My name is Heidi, if you guys are new here, and I make sewing videos and particularly, at least for now, underwear, uh, corsets and so on. Today we are doing another corset, but this time an underbust corset. So uh, the pattern that I used last time, the Freedom Corset from Pinup Girls, it has both the full coverage corset and an underbust corset. So that is what we are making today. For this project I'm using this cotton velvet material in teal color uh, and I'm using a cotton for the lining. It's not cotille but it's a quite heavy weight cotton. I'm also using uh, lace in the same teal color. If anyone has tips for where to find cotille in Norway please let me know. I'm struggling to find that unfortunately. So the first thing that I'm doing is just to cut out the pattern pieces and I've overlocked them all as well. And this pattern consists of four times two pattern pieces that you can see here. I just use the lining as a sort of mock-up so I'm just pinning the lining pieces together and just basting them just to check if the fit seems okay. I measured beforehand and it seems to be okay but it's good to just uh, double check before starting out. When I tried it on, the fit was quite nice, uh, it seemed to be quite snug and I ended up not doing any alterations at all to the pattern pieces. I just pinned the lace to the front panels, uh, just making sure that the pattern is matching up when sewing these together. And then I'm just hand sewing the edges towards the velvet. And here I'm just overlocking the edges where the lace is attached. Uh, I found that overlocking was a lot easier than trying to baste it together because it moved around a lot more. So um, since the main fabric is slightly stretchy, I figured that overlocking would be the best solution for this. And to my great joy, the pattern in the front matched perfectly. For the front panels, I decided to sew the boning directly onto the lining. In retrospect, I I think I would have preferred to do that with the entire corset. I think it would have been less bulky if I just sewn the Regilin boning to the lining and just draw the velvet material over instead of uh, making boning channels. After doing that, I pinned the front panels of the main material and the lining together. 
before I top stitch through both layers. For the other panels, I used this sort of sandwiching method to get all the seam allowances on the inside. I think this is called a stitch and flip method. And for each layer, I then top stitched to make the seam a bit stronger. I'm not sure if it's so easy to see here on video, but this first top stitch I sewed against the nap of the fabric, which meant that it was sort of ruffled a bit. So for the rest of the panels, I decided to sew with the nap instead. After sewing all the panels together, I am just folding in the back edges and pressing these so that they line up. I'm just top stitching right next to the fold through all the layers. I'm just drawing the boning channels. There are boning channels both on each seam and also in between. So there's quite a lot of boning in total. had to use a zipper foot for some of the boning channels just because it tended to slip a bit on the seam allowance that was left between the different panels. So this made it a bit easier to come close enough. And then I am just overlocking the top edge of the corset just to even it out a bit. Uh, and since I am going to insert the boning from below. And then it's time to insert the boning, so I'm just melting the edges of the boning slightly to make it not poke out as much and a bit more even. I decided to make bias binding out of the material that I use for the outer layer of the corset. Uh, it's kind of thick, so I wasn't quite sure if it would work out, but in the end I think it worked out quite nicely, even though it's a bit more bulky.
tried first to top stitch through these layers of bias binding, but that ended up looking quite clunky. So instead I decided to just slip stitch on the back. This ended up taking a while, so I just had to get a bit more comfortable, find some gameplay on YouTube, and try to make it a bit more of an enjoyable process. And here I'm just marking off the grommets. This was quite difficult to get through because there are quite a few uh, thick layers of material. So I had to put all my powers into <laughs> getting through this material to get the grommets in. As you guys can see my poor camera is jumping around on my workbench because I had to pound so hard. And then it is just time to lace the corset. I used a slightly more rough lacing for this. I think it was fitting for this corset which is a bit more rough in terms of material and thickness. Thank you guys so much for watching i really hope that you like this video if you do please leave a like below it really helps a lot and please consider subscribing to this channel if you like these types of videos to help me continue make them and also if you have any suggestions for future projects any themes characters movies eras characters games and so on please uh, leave a comment below and tell me and i will take those into consideration I am thinking about doing a Witcher 3 themed playlist where I do the female characters of the Witcher 3, corsets or bustiers and so on inspired by them. If you have any other suggestions please let me know and I hope to see you guys in the next video.